everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and in today's video I'm going to talk to you all about my sewing plans for February. So if you are new to my channel or you haven't seen any of my plans videos, what I do is I show you four items that I hope to make in February and at the end of the video you can go across to my community tab or if you are a subscriber it should automatically pop up on your feed um, a poll and you can vote for the item you would like to see as a sew along. Now I have heard um, recently that um, if you view this on a tablet quite often the community tab doesn't appear I have no idea why that is, but I have heard it from a few people. Um, so I'm really sorry if you are one of those people that's unable to vote that way. But um, I do use the community tab as the poll because I do get quite a lot of um, votes now for the sew alongs. And it's kind of surpassed that stage where I can kind of level out the comments and the community tab like percentages wise so I do just use the community tab now um, so that people can place their votes please feel free to comment down below as to which one you'd like to see but um, I do use the community tab as the actual results now so I hope that makes sense and I've just tried to make it as fair as possible so if anyone is wondering what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing two me maids. <laughs> I've got uh, this t-shirt, which is the Thread Count Ultimate t-shirt. And um, I got this in a sewing magazine, this pattern. And I think you can pick up the pattern, I think um, on eBay and things, but I don't think it's something that you can just purchase from a shop, unfortunately. Um, but yes, I've got a lovely t-shirt in that. And then I'm also wearing the Style Arc uh, Dale Knit Top. And I've made it into a cardigan using this sweater knit. And it's like a ribbed sweater knit in this kind of uh, brownie kind of colour. And it just wraps over and then ties up at one side. So yeah, it's a really nice cosy make. <laughs> okay, so let's get started in what I plan to make in February. So let's start off uh, with this fabric here. This, oh, <laughs> this I showed in one of my recent fabric hauls. It is a bright pink jersey, absolutely gorgeous pink jersey. And I picked this up from the Makers Merchant. It's a really nice quality jersey. I've got one and a half meters uh, of it. And I'm planning on making the Forget Me Not Iris Tea in it. So that pattern is part of my make nine plans. And I thought, yep, yeah, it would be a perfect opportunity to uh, try it out. Because yeah, I got this jersey and I just instantly was like, I really, really want to use it up. So it is a 95% cotton and 5% spandex mix. So it's a really nice quality. You can see lots and lots of stretch there in both directions. So yeah, it's gonna make a perfect t-shirt. Now the Iris tee, the reason why I love that one so much is because there are two uh, versions of it. There's a short sleeve where you've got like these little pleats in the, um, in the armband, which I think look absolutely adorable. And there's also a long sleeved version, which I think comes up to kind of around about three quarters. And again, it's got two kind of little pleats in there as well. So I really like both versions and I am a bit torn between which version I wanna do, but I think I'm gonna go for the short sleeve version with the little three, I think it's three pleats in there because I just think that would probably be the best version for me to try first because I'm so interested to see how it all comes together with those little pleats. So yeah that is my first plan. Right so next up is actually another one from my Make Nine sewing plans. It's going to be the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. Now I mentioned in my Make Nine uh, plans video when I was talking about this one, this was actually on my plans list from 2019 and I never made it up. I've had that pattern for ages and I don't know why, but I just didn't get round to making it. So I thought, you know what? I really want to get that done. Now is the time to make lots of nice and cuddly cardigans. And it was actually in my last video, I picked out a fabric, if you'd seen it, and I kind of left it out on the side afterwards for a bit. And I just kept looking at it going, oh, that would actually make a really nice Blackwood cardigan. So you may recognise this. 
it is the mustard <laughs> sweater knit that I showed in my last video. And I got this from First for Fabrics um, quite a while ago now, I think it was. I've, I bought it in loads of different colours. Um, it's a beautiful quality sweater knit. And um, I got a metre and a half of this. I'll just open it out for you so you can see it a little bit better. So there we go. So it's got a lovely drape to it. It's got a nice amount of stretch. So that's one way. And then that's the other way. So nice and stretchy. And it is really, really super soft. It's kind of um, slightly brushed on this side. And then it's a bit more matte on that side. So that's the inside. And then that is the outside. And you can see kind of those little brushed bits there. So yeah, it's going to be really cosy. And the Blackwood cardigan looks like a really straightforward cardigan. Um, there is a version, I think, where you can have it kind of cropped or kind of hip length. I'm going to see how long I can make it out of one and a half metres. I think I should be fine making at least the um, the kind of cropped version for it. But I'll see if I can get the, uh, the hip length one out of it if possible. I'm not sure if I'll do the pockets on it. Um, I think for, for me, I'm just not sure whether... I would want the pockets on the cardigan because this is quite, as I say, it's quite a lightweight. Sometimes if you use um, or if you put pockets on a lightweight cardigan, as soon as you put something in it, it can kind of drag the cardigan down a little bit. So I'm thinking, you know, if I was to put my phone or something in the pocket, it might kind of drag down the fabric a little bit and maybe stretch it out, which I don't want. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to go for the version without pockets. But yeah, I think that's going to be absolutely lovely, that one. So next up is another Helen's Closet pattern. <laughs> this time I'm going to hopefully make the York Pinafore. Now I've seen this York Pinafore so many times over on Instagram and I've just kind of thought, yeah, it's something that I really, really do want in my wardrobe. I do love wearing pinafores. Uh, you may have seen that I quite often wear my Tilly and the Buttons Cleo pinafore. I've got um, a couple of the Tilly and the Buttons Olive um, pinafores as well. And I now want to try out the Helen's Closet York pinafore. Now, one of the main reasons I actually really do want to try this one is because it's a really straightforward pattern. As far as I'm aware, it's just literally a front piece and a back piece. And then if you want to put on um, like a kangaroo pocket or um, kind of individual pockets on the front. But the way that you finish it off is using bias binding. Again, if you'd seen any of my previous videos, you may know that um, I'm kind of a bit nervous about using bias binding and it doesn't always work out too well for me. But I want to push myself this year to try and tackle things that, you know, I might be a little bit uh, scared to do. So I'm going to try um, making this because the neckline and um, around the arms and around the sides are all bias bound. So I really want to give that a go. So I've got a whole load of bias binding that I purchased from Laura from the Specky Seamstress. Um, I'll link her website down below in case you're interested. But I've got loads of designs now from her. So I really want to use them up. So what fabric am I going to use for the York Pinafore? I've got this uh, cotton twill that has been in my stash for ages, absolutely ages. I've got three metres of it, which is, I think, overkill for the York Pinafore. Um, I think the York Pinafore only takes about a metre, metre and a half, something like that. So it means I'll have plenty left over. And this quite, oh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> so this is it here. It's probably not coming up really true to colour on the screen, but it is kind of like a really dark um, kind of navy. Kind of looks like a kind of a denim sort of blue and it doesn't have any stretch or, or anything like that in it so it's quite rigid it's quite heavy weight you can see there you know we don't have a great deal of drape it is quite stiff so I thought it'd be really nice for the uh the York pinafore and um I just thought it'd be really good for you know chucking over t-shirts or long sleeve tops and um yeah I kind of thought this colour would just be really easily worn and match up with loads of things. 
So as I say, I've got absolutely tons of it. So I can probably actually make two items out of this fabric. So I can make the York pinafore and then you never know, maybe like a pair of shorts or something at another time. But you can see here that um, I'm actually showing you the wrong side of it. This is actually the right side. I've just noticed. Um, so yeah, it's a cotton twill. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the twill kind of in that. I don't know how well my camera is going to pick it up, but it does have these kind of diagonal lines, which is that twill weave. And it, yeah, it's going to be a really nice version, I hope, in that. So yeah, that is uh, my third plan. So the fourth and final plan for February is going to be uh, my Felicity Fabrics blog post. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm part of the Felicity Fabrics blogger team. And what I do is um, if they give me some fabric in exchange for a review, I will always do a review of the pattern that I'm making on my channel. Or if it wins the sew along, then I'll do the full sew along, uh, which kind of covers basically the full review of it as well. So um, any time Felicity Fabrics do give me fabric in exchange for a review, I will always let you guys know. I do purchase a lot of fabric from them as well. So you may hear me talk about that I bought this from Felicity Fabrics, you know, etc. Um, but actually, if I'm ever given fabric for free, I will make sure that it is very, very clear. So this fabric was given to me for free in exchange for a review. So... Before I show you the fabric, I will show you what I'm going to be making. So I'm going to be making the New Look 6407, which is this shirt pattern here. And it comes in a variety of different designs, which is brilliant. So you've got this version here, version A, which is a long sleeve. And then if you can see here, it's kind of got a um, like a kind of cuff that has a split in it. It is actually the version that the model's wearing here. And this one's got a collar. You've then uh, got this style here, short sleeved, uh, but this has got a mandarin style collar. This version is very similar to version A, but I think you've got like turn up cuffs here and also that you can do it in contrasting fabrics. This one here, uh, again, you've got the full collar, but you've got the option for these little tie um, sleeves as well, which is really cute. And then this version here, uh, I think, has the bits where you can add in like the frills and things. So I'm going to go for version A, which is the one that the model's wearing. So it is the longer sleeve with the um, uh, split cuffs and the full collar. So the reason why I bought this pattern, I think I bought it a couple of years ago, I think from like Hobbycraft or something, uh, was because it said it was easy. Now, sometimes I know that if a pattern says it's easy, especially one of these kind of big four ones, it's not necessarily that easy. However, I did um, look up this pattern, like some reviews and things online, and quite a few people did actually say that they found it quite a nice sew. So if you've made this pattern, let me know what you think, because shirts I always find, you know, it is a little bit nerve wracking sometimes, you know, kind of especially with collars, me and collars, I always struggle a little bit with collars. So um, yeah, I do get a little bit nervous. But as I said earlier, I'm trying to push myself this year to really try and overcome any of my silly fears over, you know, silly things like bias binding and collars. So hence the reason I'm going for this one. So before I show you the fabric, I just have to say that um, some of the ladies who are part of the Felicity Fabrics blogger team, we're all in a WhatsApp group. And Fliss from Felicity Fabrics posted up um, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, uh, to say, oh, we're going to have some new fabric coming to the uh, website. Is there anything, you know, people want as their kind of uh, blog projects or anything? Um, and this fabric popped up and a few of the ladies just kind of went, Michelle, you need this fabric. And I was like, oh, yes, I do. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> so I then messaged Fliss and said, please, can I have this for my next like blog project, please, please, please. <laughs> and so I was given uh, a metre and a half to create the shirt. It's beautiful. I think you'll know why I picked it. So it is a 100% cotton and it has bunnies on it. <laughs> it's absolutely 
gorgeous and I wish you could kind of feel how soft this is it is such a lovely quality cotton I think it's like a cotton lawn because it is just so incredibly soft and it has got that kind of little bit of drape to it but these bunnies I absolutely love the colours of these like all the blues and the oranges and this creamy background it's just beautiful and I just kind of thought it would make the cutest little spring shirt. I love it because I think from a distance you might not necessarily realise that it's got lots of little bunnies on, it might just look like a kind of a splodgy sort of design but then you know when people get a little bit closer and they'll see all of the bunnies so yeah, I think you can probably understand why as soon as <laughs> I saw this fabric, then yes, it's just one that I had to have for my blog post. <laughs> so yeah, that is the fabric for that one. And I'm really, really looking forward to making that one. Okay, so now I'll just do a little roundup of all the options again, just as a little reminder. So the first one was the Iris Tea by Forget Me Not Patterns in this bright pink jersey. Or you can vote for the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan with the mustard sweat in it. The other option was the Helen's Closet York pinafore in the navy blue cotton twill. Or it was the New Look 6407 shirt in the Felicity Fabrics bunny cotton. <laughs> okay, so those were all of the options. So yes, please go and place your vote. I'd love to know which one you are most interested in. And also, if you have made any of those patterns before, then please, you know, give me feedback. You know, what did you think of it? Especially if you have made the shirt. I would love to know if you've made that one. Okay, so thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, I always appreciate any likes um, and any comments and things like that. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Okay, take care. Bye.